Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft LAN Party. So now I've got a source of XP. Um, uh, I have been enchanting up a storm, and so I've actually managed to get a silk touch pick, which is exciting, and a fortune pick, which is super exciting. And I've got some miscellaneous stuff. I got an infinity book. I haven't put it on that door yet. But a couple quick mining sessions, and bam, I got all this stuff. I need to smelt some of it, but I mean, that's like not, I'm not going to say it's more diamonds that I've had before, but I mean, that's, that's quite a lot. So I'm, I don't know, that's, that's super exciting. In fact, that this should be what, three blocks? Oops, I moved things around and I made a blast furnace. So let's, uh, let's block these up. Yeah, it's three, three more blocks like that. Bam, that's another block. And then like all this redstone, I can uh, block that up. 26 blocks of redstone. Having fortune is kind of a big deal. So I'm very excited about that. And then uh, lapis, which we need for the enchanting. And I'm doing a lot of enchanting. So that's all, whoops, that goes in this block. I need to reorganize a little bit. Um, yeah. And then like we can take out, uh, so I built this blast furnace. Bam. And it goes fast, or faster. Anyway, um, I don't, honestly, I could spread this out. It, the blast furnace doesn't do anything other than just speed up the process, which it'd be kind of cool if it were faster and you got additional, I don't know, like if you were, if you were smelting a whole stack, if you ended up with slightly more than, I don't know. I don't know how they would do that. It'd be nice if there were additional benefits. So anyway, that's, that's quite a lot of uh, I mean, three and a half stacks of copper, stack and a quarter of iron, half a stack of gold. Not bad. So, uh, and the reason for that is, let me show you. So down here in the mine, I have been kind of going over this way, but then at, over at Barb's place and looking at her mine, I think... We're, if I keep going this way, we're going to run into each other. So I go this way, away from her. Uh, there's some fun stuff down there. I see a torch. Um, that's right. So poked over here and ended up in a little cave. Can I see particles? Oh, I should deal with that. Let's deal with that now. Oh, shoot. Oof. That was kind of dumb. Okay. Could have been really bad. Should have looked up before I uh, updated that gravel. Okay. We're good. Eat. All right. <clears throat> so come up here and I see mossy cobble and there is a spawner. This one is a skeleton spawner. So I've got the zombie spawner over there that I've turned into an XP farm. This, I want the arrows and the bones. Bone meal is hard to come by. Now, a couple of chests here. I left some of the stuff behind. I grabbed all the interesting stuff. It wasn't that much great. There were no record discs. There was a golden apple, a couple name tags, which is cool. But otherwise, um, I didn't really need any of this. But and I kept on going. This cave just keeps on going. And, and I put in little milestones to sort of direct me back. Because that's important when you get into situations like this. So there were ores on the walls here, so that's where a lot of the, those ores came from. But then, 
I don't think that really goes anywhere, but this is where it gets interesting. Big cave. Now it's not gargantuan. Oh, I missed some gold. Oh, huh. and some copper. Goodness. So this is where having a fortune pick comes in really handy because it works on this stuff, right? So, uh oh. Um, interesting. Okay. Did I pick up that gold? Yes, look. Four, four blocks of ore, gold ore, and I got 12 raw gold out of it. So, okay, that's fine. Get some more light up here. And then, ooh, some copper. Let's get the copper. Uh, did I really want to do that? No, I don't think so. Now I'm just going to create a problem here. So let's solve the problem. The hard way. Goodness gracious. There we go. Now, I don't have any mending books or mending on any of these tools, so I'm only using the fortune pick when I come across stuff that will benefit from it. Got 32 copper from two blocks. That's crazy. Oh, and there was some redstone here. And 40 redstone. So that's having having a fortune pick is kind of a game changer. Uh, oh, there's, uh, I missed all kinds of stuff. Okay, right because I was running around here worried about getting killed by creepers and skeletons and stuff. Um, I do have the area lit up pretty well. I think. Did I get all that? Yeah. Look, 20 more iron. Okay. So, combination of caves being a better place for resource gathering. Oh, there's some more redstone up there. Oh, it gets dark down there. We may have to go explore that. Um, missed the redstone. Where'd the redstone go? I saw it. There it is. Around the corner. Um, so, a combination of caves being a better place to do resource gathering than uh, then, then strip mining or whatever you want to call it, uh, vein mining. Ah, so like here, I want to know, like if I get turned around, you have some cobblestone here. This far down cobblestone size because it's different from everything else. It stands out. So, and if I can see the torches, I'm heading out. It's just kind of my way of marking. Goodness gracious. I was not very theory here at all, was I? Okay. Oh, there's more. So I think I have this whole area lit up pretty well. So this is a dead end. Look up, make sure I'm not missing anything else. Uh, so this is, I think this is lit up pretty well. So this is a dead end. I could block it off, but it's okay. Let's peek over here. Let's see what's going on down here. Because I went up around this way. And there's more stuff up there, but over here, oh, there's a bunch of copper right above my head. Okay, so this gets dark down here. And I don't have a good way out if I go down. So, let's see if I can change that. Uh, 
Place a couple lights down. I don't hear anything, but. So I didn't need that one. Oh, looks like a ravine. On these narrow cutouts, I'm seeing them all over in the cave generator. Oh, it gets dark over here. Wasn't planning on going caving today. This feels like it might dead end up here. Oops. No, it does not. Oh, but that looks like I've already lit up some of that. So let's. Yeah. Okay, good. I saw some redstone over here. Thought I did. Oh, some right there. So let's grab that and and I don't want to fall out a hole if I have to run away in terror. Keep accidentally scrolling as I'm trying to like right click. So I have to be really careful of that. Okay, and I already came around this way. Okay, let's go back. So that's what I've been doing. I'm just going, poking my head into spaces, trying to get some torches down and venturing in. Killing off any beasties that might be in there. Being a little careful. Oh, I see blue down there. Okay, be careful. There are places here where things could be hiding. Hi, Mr. Diamond. Okay, I... I may not have enough torches to be doing this. Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie. Where'd you go? You're trying to sneak up behind me, aren't you? There you are. Okay, there's more gravel that... Well, that wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. Okay. Okay, so. There's some copper. Okay, get all the gravel updated. Ooh, if I go down here, can I get out? Yes. Oh, whoa. Okay, this might be a problem. Okay, so this is where some of my zombies were coming from. So I have another zombie spawner. Let's take a screenshot of the coordinates there. This isn't super helpful location wise, but let's, there's some gold right up there. Okay, another copy of 13, some iron, whoops, some bones, some iron, some string. Oops, I don't need the zombie flesh. Some string, always helpful. And, oh, another name tag. It's more iron. 
and another copy of the same disc. Just fantastic. Okay, let's get this uh, iron here, or this gold. And, okay. So this is, uh, was unexpected. Let's get out of here. But that's just kind of what I've been doing, just going through. Oh, there's a whole other way over here. Going through, lighting stuff up, killing off anything that might be there. Making sure it's all lit so that I can wander around a little bit more uh, safely. There's a cave up there. And this keeps going down. Okay, that could be dangerous because things could pop out on top of me. So let's uh, remove some of this. Put a little bit of light up there. And then build a little staircase. Oh, and eat. Oops. Dark hallway. Dead end. And gravel, it just wants to be updated. Nice. Okay, so now... Um, got a diamond up there, which I need to get, but let's get some light down here first. Oh. Oh, it's a huge ravine over here. Okay. I don't want these diamonds falling down in the ravine. Are my clippers? I do. Uh, let's put that back on the bar. Okay, let's switch to the fortune pick and get our one diamond. Just make sure there's no more hiding around. There's some gold. So that one little diamond is what happened on the previous, another part of the cave, there was just one diamond hanging out. Uh, so that's okay. But one diamond is better than zero diamonds. Oh wait, I see more diamonds. Oh, okay. Come down here, diamonds. Or... Okay, so that was more than one. So that that was two. Uh, am I gonna have to pillar up here? I think I might. Uh, let's do this. Okay, so now I have four diamonds. Okay, again, one diamond is better than zero diamonds. Four diamonds, I can make another, start building an enchanting armor. All right, so I did not like, it's one thing I tend to do is when I get into these little caves that look like they're gonna end at any moment, I don't bother to think maybe I should stop and place a um, place a marker stone. Um, oh yeah, okay. This is the way out. And then we've got some copper up here. Now we have a stack and a half of copper and I'm starting to run out of inventory space. So I really just wanted to show off the uh, skeleton spawner. Thought I saw somebody over there. I did. Oh, there's a glow squid. 
You have a glow squid farm, apparently. And I have too much stuff in my inventory to pick up. Oh, I'm gonna toss one of those. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get out of here because there are more dark spots here. But I'll come back and investigate a little bit further. Okay, I think this is the way out down this way. Oh yeah, there's my cobble. So, I plan to turn this into a skeleton farm. But I want to do it a little bit more smartly than I did the, the zombie farm. So, we'll uh, soften these guys up a little bit. Uh, probably lift them up and drop them so that they're, they're all one-hit kills. Uh, the lava dispenser at the zombie farm, which I don't think I've shown... Uh, it's a little bit too, it doesn't work super well as a softener. Uh, so, and I'd like this to be able to, and I guess I, the only reason to soften them is to collect the XP because they will, or, and actually with the Ludian sword, get more bones and, uh, and, uh, arrows. Anyway, so let's get back down. So here's what I was talking about. Uh, it's the lava, to, lava software. So, again, some zombies here. I can set some lava on them and pull it up. But as long as I hit, I hit them, I should still get XP for it. Although the fire sometimes seems to destroy some items and XP. So that is actually not so great. Okay, I'm going to leave these guys alone for now. Um, I am close to getting back to 30 levels, but I've got a bunch of stuff that's smelting, which should help with the uh, the levels, and, and then we'll figure out our next enchanting step, uh, which we'll do off camera. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's sleep. Okay, so let's uh, let's put away some of this stuff. If I can remember where it all goes. Okay, so I have that and that. Music discs. I now have, what, three copies of 13? And it's not even the best music disc in the world. And then, where am I keeping these? Ah. Oh, that's right. There. I don't know what to do with these. I don't have, I have a couple. And then got a chest that's just for the glow lichen for some reason. Not like I have enough of it to worry about. Uh, name tags. I think I've got name tags in here. Yeah. So I've got three name tags. Um, don't know quite what to do with them yet. And then, yeah, a few things. So. Let's pull out copper blocks and iron blocks. And we've got more copper to put in, more iron to smelt. Oh, wait. Okay. So the blast furnace will pop in that gold. And then we've got a couple of these. And we'll block up. Redstone. Exactly eight blocks. And so I've got a lot of redstone now for being this early in the game. And oh, another block of diamonds. I moved the crafting bench, so I keep I keep walking over, thinking I'm going to uh, go to the crafting bench over there. So we're doing okay here. Um, got more copper blocks, which 
These are kind. Of, these are actually kind of expensive. It takes a lot to because um, it takes nine copper smelted copper to uh, to make a uh, to make a copper block. It's, it's quite a lot. Okay, uh, a couple deep slate. God, here, yeah. And then we've got some iron blocks to make. So I'm far less nervous about resources now than I was before I happened to luck into a fortune pick on the enchanted table. Barb makes things is working on developing some villagers over at the village, uh, which is great. Uh, but she doesn't have, you know, it's a slow process and uh, I'll probably luck into a mending book before she does. But that would be nice to have a villager with a mending trade because I've got lots of stuff that I want to keep in good shape. So anyway, so that's that's where we're at right now. I need to do a little research and figure out how I want to do the skeleton thing. Get that design. And uh, and go ahead and build that. So that we'll have plenty of arrows. Because I don't have... I do have this infinity book. But I'm thinking mending might be... Especially on a power 5 arrow bow. Mending might be more... Preferable than infinity, since you can't do them both anymore. And yeah, so that's it. I think that's plenty. Um, let's just try to do a little update. So thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. I hear bad guys out there. So I've got some powdered snow up there and the mobs get trapped in it. Okay. And oftentimes when they do, when they get trapped in, in powdered snow, they start taking damage eventually. And I can't even sleep while it's happening. I have to wait for them to die. Still here, a skeleton. Oh, there's a wandering trader over there. Let's see what he has to offer. Oh, he's in a dangerous spot. Uh huh. What have you got? Hey, buddy. Uh huh. Pack dice, cyan die. Cactus wouldn't be bad. Huh? So I have not yet been to a desert. <clears throat> and I could grow cactus. Let me go get some emeralds. I do have some. Not a lot. One, one cactus I could turn into something. Not that I have a ton of sand either, but. Uh -huh. Where are you going, dude? Ah, thank you. Pardon me. Uh -huh. I now have one cactus. So let's see what we can do with that. Uh -huh. I 
do have a little bit of sand. Somewhere. So, that could be the kind of stuff that I do in here. Like I can make a little mini cactus farm. Woohoo! There we go. Very good. <laughs> 